Hello and welcome to race two of the Kern County Raceway Park Championship. This time we are here in the trucks and of course at Kern County as that is the whole point of this league series. Um, trucks here today with a setup provided by yeah, Daniel for everybody because it's fixed set and uh, feels pretty good to me as we head up for qualifying here. Just uh, one setup for qualifying and race uh, as well. I think uh, this could be a lot of fun. We are the fourth fastest in practice. And we'll see if we can put a, put a lap in here for qualifying. But it, uh, it can be a little bit tricky. It likes to get loose, especially into turn three. So that's going to be something we're looking out for. Can't overdrive it or else the tail end of the truck will come around and meet you up front. So <laughs> not really what you want. Green flag, green flag. Turn one though, it feels like you okay. could drive in there pretty good. Alright, this is where I gotta be careful. Turn three. Alright, that is the best lap I've ever done. Sweet. Love it. Love to see it. Your last lap time was at 18.3. See if we can do even more. See if we can actually stick through three and four. It worked better than I thought, but still not going to be as fast as the first lap. And in fact, uh, we are still about P3 right now, possibly dropping. Looks like the track's a bit faster this time around uh, than it was in practice. Maybe a little bit more grip out here. Could have been... Some temperature changes, not sure. But it did feel a little bit more grip and uh, gave us a little bit more speed, but it gave everybody else a little bit more speed too. That said, feeling pretty good about that. Uh oh, there's that loose feeling in turn three I was talking about. Still feeling pretty good. We got down into the point twos and are currently in P3. Shane's looking really fast. He had a fast time in practice as well. And he's going to be starting right next to us as of right now. As we just get a uh, couple more laps in, there will not be green flag pit stops. We've got about 130 laps of fuel to start off with this thing and a 200 lap event. However, uh, Nick has guaranteed no uh, green flag pit stops required. Uh, if we go green until lap 125, he will throw a caution then. And uh, I imagine even if we get maybe like one caution early, um, we should expect a caution about one, 125. So, no green flag pit stops to concern ourselves with. Which, on one hand, kind of a bummer. I like green flag pit stops, but on the other hand, I totally understand it. Very dangerous pit road to get onto here. And uh, as the league admin, I'm sure he doesn't want to deal with all that. Because I did practice some pit in just because I have fun doing that. Because I'm a freaking weirdo, but... You do have to keep it real tight to the inside, and it's a very sharp turn into there, and uh, potentially could have guys slowing down in the racing groove, and pileups happening, and all kinds of not good stuff, so um, probably for the best. We will just go ahead and say, lap 125 if it starts to become necessary. Gavin behind us, or ra rather right next to us now, he put in a great lap. Maybe uh, some of us guys uh, who have some uh, more experience on the Daniel setups feel more at home, more comfortable <laughs> with uh, how it's running. Daniel himself got himself a top 10 lap right now. Let me make sure this isn't muted. I had it muted er earlier by accident, and hopefully I didn't accidentally ignore anybody. But it looks like everybody's ready. So I think we should be good to go here in just a moment. Nick might be letting it run out just so guys are not caught off guard by time to grid. So, um, can I show this? Probably, because he gave it to everybody, right? So it should be fine. Hope so. Um, we went 64% on the brake bias, because it can get very loose on entry. And uh, you want a little bit of that, but not too much of that. So I kind of just went down a little bit. Um, from the normal 68 or so, I think it's owned by default. I don't actually remember what it was. Um, 
at the start uh, with this setup, but we're actually doing 10 to 1 as well. I, I usually stick to 12 to 1 for most things, but going 10 to 1 here, which I'll do sometimes on the short tracks. Uh, just for a little bit more control and a little bit more of an ability to uh, catch the slides or anything. Leader, please go and exit a four. Don't wait for green. Okay. Hopefully, Cabe saw that message. And we're getting in the car. Oh, 250 laps. I thought it was 200. Huh. So we got 250 to do here today. Plenty of time to take it easy. And uh, hopefully we'll have ourselves a clean, fun race. Line up on the I'm excited. I love this track. Right this is a really fun season we've got going here and a fun idea. So, Last week it was the super late model, and this week it's going to be in the Craftsman trucks. Yeah, good luck, everybody. Yep. Good luck, everybody. Have some fun. Going to leave a little bit of room. A lot of bit of room, probably. Hmm. He's guaranteeing a. So do the pit stops on this track still take the normal time it would for a truck pit stop, or does it take longer since the pit road is all messed up? I don't have. It's such a short track that uh, unless you're in the top 15, you'll go a lap down. Anybody know? I think four tires. It's uh, 13, 14 seconds, but uh, you don't have time to uh, to take four tires on the yellow. Yeah, got to be real careful with that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I was just wondering if it was going to be normal like the trucks usually are, or longer like it was with the super late model. Only two sets of tires, so we have to be smart about how we use them. I think tire heat is going to be the biggest issue, but they do wear a little bit. And uh, could definitely provide an advantage, so I think it's going to be a long time into the race before we decide to take our tires. We got a great starting spot right behind the leader. Excited to get going. We're just going to go ahead and do a, a second gear start. Don't really see a reason to go crazy. We know he's going to be going on the exit of four, assuming he saw the message. Sure he did, so we will have to be prepared for that. I'm sure uh, everybody around us understands the need to give plenty of room early on and uh, hopefully we have a little bit less wrecks than the super okay, late model race I think it uh, could be possible okay, mate, get ready. second gear was a good choice I think Give Gavin the lane. Don't want to push anything right now. Clear up top. All right. Clear. I'd really like to have a quiet race. Um, I've been involved in a few too many incidents lately that I'm, com I'm not really comfortable with, and that's you know regardless of fault. You don't want to show up in the incident report, and you don't want to come home with a broken truck, so... Bro broken truck, or broken whatever you're driving. So, you know, I would just like to stay kind of low-key this race if I can. Have a solid run, have a nice, consistent run. And uh, not involve myself in any wrecks if I can help it. Sometimes there's not much you can do about it, but... Do what I can. Try to stay out of the messes. 
Mitch and Cabe kind of getting away a little bit. We have a little bit of a gap behind us. For better or for worse. I feel like I'm driving nice and easy. Not sliding the tires or anything. So I'm not too concerned. Is that a move from Mitch? It looks like it. They're going to be too wide. I'm focused on just uh, not getting this thing sideways or anything. Long way to go, so... Don't think I necessarily even really want to get past these guys or anything like that. They're faster than me. I think uh, Mitch is just excellent on short tracks all the time. And then Cabe races this in real life in his late model, I think it is. And so he knows this place like the back of his hand. He's fast anyway, so... Tall order trying to beat these guys, but we're right behind them right now. That feels pretty good. A little bit of slide out of Mitch there. That's what I'm trying to avoid, because... Oh, there's a caution. Because uh, I feel like uh, once you slide the tires, when I was practicing... Uh, a lot of times what would happen is I'd slide the tires out of two, and then I would head into three... And because the tires would be hot from that. Gavin, we're having a bad week. We're just having a bad week. Oh no, Gavin! I have no idea anymore. Gavin is cursed. I don't know what's going on, but he is just having the worst week. I don't know what happened to him. Did he just spun it or what? But he obviously was involved in something somehow. Gavin comes and waves, Gavin. Uh, you know, some weeks you just can't have any luck, and then other weeks everything goes your way. It'll turn around, buddy. It'll turn around. Very true. Racing is a roller coaster. Ups and downs, that's for sure. I know he knows it, too. It's just a bummer. No matter what, when you're just having a string of bad runs, unlucky. Whatever it is that's happening, even if he, even if you know it'll likely turn around at some point, it doesn't feel good being in the slog. <laughs> but we'll get restarted here. It's going to be Shane on our outside this time with Chad having a good run so far in P5. Gavin's still in this thing too. I doubt unless he really nosed it to the outside wall or something. Um, even if you got a, a little bit of damage, I think you can probably get away with that here for the most part. Don't know what the handling would do, but shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. A little bit of arrow damage or something like that, not going to hurt too much on a short track. And we've got so many laps to go. Don't count him out of a good finish quite yet. We'll be one to green here shortly. One left to green. Right, Colton, you'll be lining up on a smooth drive at the end of this lap. Again, I don't know if I necessarily even want to get around Mitch, even though we kind of have a bit of a little bit of an advantage on him starting P3. He's just faster, I think. So, not sure what good it's going to do if I get to his inside. But we'll uh, we'll see what happens here on the restart. Take it one step at a time. Gavin sounds like he must have self-spun. Judging by his comment there. It's real easy, though, to self-spin into three. That's what I found in my practice. And it's weird, because it's definitely turn three. Turn one, you can drive in a lot harder. I think it's because there's an elevation change here at Kern County. Kind of going uphill through one and two, and downhill through three and four. So maybe it's a case where the truck gets light, you're turning the wheel... And the truck's turning a little bit more than you expect or want it to. 
Maybe that's uh, why that happens the way it does. Dante must have been involved in that as well. He's just out in front of us at the moment. Well, good though. I really like Kern County. It reminds me a lot of a like a Richmond type place. Maybe a little bit of a Myrtle Beach, although Myrtle Beach is flatter. I think the uh, the the seams and lines on the track are kind of what remind me of Myrtle Beach a little bit because they're not exactly indicative of the actual lanes you want to be running in. So it can get a little confusing. Really, you look more at the seams there that are a little bit off of where the actual dotted lines are as where the actual uh, driving lines are. And then it gets kind of weird on the exit there. Probably driving in a little bit too hard. It seems like I'm catching these guys more ahead than I should be. But I am a little concerned that we'll be on the right rear. So maybe it'll be a good thing. If we uh, even out the wear a little bit by going on the right front. We got another caution. Alan Racinos. That's how you say that. Uh, it's a sorry there might have been something that happened. Self-spin. Yeah, it uh, sounds like maybe some of those entries, although it can get loose on exit too, that could be where it's coming from. Mitch is pretending to pit, there's no way he's actually pitting. <laughs> or maybe he's just cooling his tires down on the unused part of the track. That could be it as well. I'm happy with where we are. Only 21 laps in. And uh, just content checking off some laps right now, but we've got ourselves some good track position. And got some fast guys in front of us that we can watch and maybe learn from, so it's a good spot to be in. We've been able to consistently move away from the guys behind us. Yeah, I'm getting a lucky dog. Is he on the lead lap now? Or is he multiple down? He's multiple down, so he's going to be one lap down now, if that is correct. Is he coming? Yeah, there he is. I could, uh, he could definitely get back, though. I don't think that's the last caution we're going to get by any means. Now, even though we've had two cautions so far, we've gotten a nice handful of laps in each time. It's nothing like, uh, no immediate cautions or anything either time. So that's nice. Four fifty seven PM here in California in Sim. Four course yellow. Pits are open. Don't think there's any way we could end up in the darkness. And I hope we don't, because there's no lights here. Should have plenty of time to get this race in. Deep road is closed. Especially with an hour twenty five minute Pits left closed. on the flock. Same starting spot as before. We'll get back going, get some more laps in. One lap to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Tire spin a little bit, we're fine. Never know when you've got some laps on some tires if they're gonna want to grip up perfectly. Always a good idea to check under caution. Just give it a, a quick push of the throttle to see if uh, the car wants to go. About to go green. Stay focused. Post car is off. Ooh, got on the seaming a little bit on that restart. That was a little ugly.
still there, hold your line. Careful on the inside here. Shane's okay going down and filing behind me. That's perfectly good with me. Back in three. Three. Keep hustling. Got a battle for the lead, maybe. Mitch might want to get around him up there. Oh, was that out of yellow? Oh. We got some sort of crash happening that didn't bring out a yellow, it sounds like. It's no good. Ooh, big loose right there. Trying to minimize how much sliding is happening. Take me back it down a little bit then. Don't need to be sliding the tires around. Not being pressured too hard or anything, so be smooth. And another caution. A little bit of a short around that time. Apologies in chat up there. 86, that's Chris got involved in that. He's fast, so that's too bad to see. Not that you have to be fast for it to be not a great thing to end up in a wreck. No one wants to get wrecked. I certainly don't. <laughs> so far we're clean though. Still too early for tires if we're gonna have only two sets. Getting closer though to thinking about it. Nick reminding guys you don't have to go 100 and go about 60% and that is true. Gavin yeah, getting back on the lead lap, I think. I had a feeling he would. There he is. So he's going to come around here. Gavin, he's back on the lead lap. I wonder if he's got new tires on that thing, too, whenever he had to come into pit. Yeah, but I don't deserve to be. He might have wanted to put some tires on it if he slid, but it still would have been really early. So. How about your truck? Motor was kind of annoying me. I don't know. Gavin's having a rough time. I feel for him. I've been there before. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Two to green. Can we get a two to green? We can. All right. Pit road is closed right now. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Half buff, 86. Car. Chris coming out of the pits there. I hope he didn't get himself a penalty. He certainly didn't get out ahead of the pace truck. I think he probably got a penalty then. It's just an EOL, I think doing that, but probably didn't want that to happen. He probably was going to try to get out ahead of the pace truck. Might need to be a little more careful on the restart here. Last time I kind of got on that seam when I slammed the throttle and it kind of made me a little One to go. Nick unsettled. Got right. me a little okay. pull to the left that I didn't like all too much. So maybe we'll ease on the throttle a little bit more here. Still looking like a pretty familiar lineup up here in the front. Get ready, going green. Abe in the lead. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. 
Shane's gonna clear me. Still there, hold your line. Clear up top. Car I don't wanna line. take his lane away up there. Clear. Car outside. Outside's kinda working Still a little there. bit better all of a sudden. Or maybe I'm just slow. Stay low. There is a car that could be it too. Still there. Hmm. We'll back out. Long way to go. Don't have to be too worried about it. So it seems like that outside lane's coming in. And these restarts. Might have hurt my right front a bit. I'm driving in too hard. We'll see. Feeling all that bad, but... You know, I was driving in pretty hard. Little loose. Entering into three. B5 now. Still not so bad. Still a long way to go, so I'm not concerned. Not that I should be concerned about B5 anyway. That's a great finish. Hey, whoa, Shane, big loose. I think he might have even cut the apron a little bit there. Now he's gonna have Zach on his outside. Loose on exit. The actor Roberts behind is increasing. It's now 0.9. That was 18.8. Side by side. Car inside. Smoke, someone's wrecked. And a caution. Gavin's back on pit road. We can see Shaw has been dead. Can't believe I clipped open there. <laughs> pit road's open. I didn't get into you there, Daniel. Did I, Daniel? I don't think so. I didn't even feel it though. It just went around. Still too early for me for pit stops. Tires are getting out. Same thing happened with me earlier. But to you. Poor Alan getting yeah, talked over like he always does. We had a good side by side battle for a while. Yeah, it's pretty fun. That outside line is hard to hold on. The inside line just seems to be a lot quicker. Car 86 got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Inside line didn't feel as good that last restart, but that could just be I've been bad to my tires. That would surprise me a bit. Yeah, I thought the same, Colton. When I just got stuck on the inside, I couldn't do nothing. Alright, not just me then. Just kind of curious. And uh, we're on the inside again. See what we can do with it. Still no reason to really make any rash decisions in terms of, you know, aggressively taking a lane or anything. If we fall back a couple spots, 
no big deal. 250 laps here today. No need for any uh, risky maneuvers. Not yet. Pit road is closed Pits right now. Out. Pits are closed. Zach's done a great job. He's moved up to P3, and Shane has got around us as well. Through to the rest of the top 10. Tire limit on this as well. That means. Um, so we got Billy. Gonna start on our outside, then Dante, Chad, the 80 of Jean Philippe. He's uh, been involved in something, I think, but he still finds himself in the top 10. And then uh, Dan, rounding up your top 10. So, there you have that. That's back where it goes. Restarting in second or third? I'm going to check it. Second seems good to me. I'm clear at the back, so third has been working good. <laughs> About to go green. Stay focused. Hide car is off. Hold down, side. Green green, 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 green. Car outside. Stay low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Hold your line. Yeah, the inside's just not working all too well. B6. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear up top. Might have to make your passes on the outside here at this point. That's very interesting. Speaking of, we've got two wide ahead. Can we get around Zach? He's getting kind of filed backward. Caution. And another caution. A little bit too many now, guys. Even a little bit too many. We think the page has been dead. Pit road's open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. We had some good runs to start this thing, and now we're uh, we're starting to get them a little bit rapid fire. P6 though this time, so we'll be on the outside, which says we're going to run out of time. Yeah, if we keep uh, keep at this rate, we might. Let's get some green laps in here. At least I got a drink. We're getting loose out of two, boys. Can I pretend it's Welch's grape juice? Run, but for the refreshing is, taste of grape, be sure to choose Welch's God, Grape Juice found at your local Schnucks, Walmart, or other local retailer. Thank you, Welch's, for sponsoring my Toyota Craftsman Truck Series truck. <laughs> and uh, Nick, of course, for designing this beautiful purple Welch's What's the, uh, slash time on this Speedway Motors Toyota Tundra. Go to your F1 screen and you'll be able to see the time remaining. Bear with me here. I'm kind of new to uh, shouting out the sponsors. We'll Normally I'm just this unsponsored grape. Finally got some funding now, so I gotta actually get used to speak doing the speech. Gotta throw out those cliches like, uh, yeah, we had a good truck today, the guys in the shop, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's called it. Full that sucks. Open. Hope he gets a good run here soon. Maybe not at Homestead for the truck NIS, because if he beats Cabe and I, yeah, he could find himself in the Final Four. Maybe have a better run a different race, but I do hope he gets some better luck. And you know what, if he if he does pull that off, that's that would be a pretty awesome drive for him. So it is what it is if that ends up happening. That's going to be a fun one, though. Truck and IS. What happened? Did he get in there? Right, right, or did Round right two there? finale. First Close off, battle between Cabe, oh, Gavin, and I. I don't know what For that final that. four. Fourth spot. And you never know. Another uh, a Scott or a Tyler can get the win. Pull it off as well. 
It's a fun one to look forward to. Yep, that load has been having a bad couple weeks back. First time on the outside. See how it feels. See how it works out. Actually, that's not true. We started fourth, didn't we? First time on the outside since it seems to really have come in, though. So, see if we uh, have the advantage. Get ready, going green. See what we can do. Post car is off. Just not be very good. This X. Oh, gonna cut in front of us here. Sixth place. Wasn't sure if he was gonna make that move or not, but he did. I think I just stink. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. That's a big slide for Zach. We'll be a little off pace on the corner here. Why did I go to his inside though? That's not gonna help me. I'm slide. Outside, clear. Calm it down. It's lap 62. Just was trying to push a little bit, maybe get around him after his slide, but then I just found myself sliding, which not Time useful. Not useful for my run. So we'll take it easy a little bit. That lap was a eighteen point nine. Ooh. A little loose there. It really sneaks up on you. Seems like a lower exit's really working out of turn two now. Got about a second behind us. Sorry guys, we get really loose there. Kind of losing my feel for the truck as time goes on. It's feeling a little bit tighter than it was earlier. With uh, the exception of the snaps on exit that it's trying to do. But that has a lot to do with how much I'm turning the wheel as well because of the tight feeling. I think we come in and pit if we get another caution. Might be a little bit early, but... Then if uh, the rest of the field pits later... Oh gosh, Zach is really unsettled. We're gonna clear him. In a big moment, so we will go on by. See if he ends up coming right back at us, though. So I think he is a little bit faster. You've just done a 19.2. All right, P5, top five right now. Very happy with that. Uh-oh, there's Going Billy down. with a big slide. Seems like some guys are having some real right rear issues on the exit. I guess maybe, unless it's just uh, the wheel turning. You've just done a 19.0.
Good reminder to be very careful on that uh, right rear. Not slide it around on the exits. Could help us out long run. I'm okay with diving it in a little bit too on the entry. Not the pass, I don't mean. I mean just to uh, get on the right front sometimes. Balance out the handling. See how that works out for us. And uh, Billy gathered it up a little bit there, but we get a caution. Get anybody yet? We pit. We might pit. Can't make it to the end though on fuel. I don't know if he's still going to call a caution. Pits are open. So we're going to stay out, I guess. We really have to just be able to make it to the end on fuel, too. So I don't think it would be very smart to come in right now. If we pretty much have a guaranteed lap 125 hit, I guess. Back on the inside this time. It didn't really help us to be on the outside, though. I think I'm just not quite as good as some of these guys up here. So don't want to try to do too much and wreck myself or anything. If they get around us, that's fine. Just try to get... Just keep in mind, rain is coming in an hour, one minute, and 50 seconds. <laughs> that's true. I get the halfway first. We've had a handful of cautions, but it hasn't been the worst, I guess. We we get some good runs in here. Enough that passes can be made. Some mistakes happen. Will be two to green here, I imagine. This will be a stupid question, but I have brake pressure or brake bias. This will make it tighter on entry, right? Yeah, if you add more to the front, it will make it tighter. We're under caution, pits are closed. Sorry, I think I stepped on you there, Cape. You're good, I think you hear me. Maybe. We get a caution after 100, none at 100. Everybody see that message? Nick says that if we uh, get a caution after 100, there will not be a caution at 125. All right, that's good to know. One left to green. We're going green right next time. Let's see what we can do. I'm probably underdriving these restarts a little bit, but I really don't want to crash. Dante behind us, Shane in front of us. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, green, green. green. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Yeah, I just I, no match for that outside lane. V6. Oh, a moment for Shane. Oh, Zach gets Bobble. Get around him again. Get back in We're not to overdrive this thing.
All right, through 83 here. We are P5. Falling back a little bit. I'm still happy with where we're running. Truck's feeling pretty tight, with the exception of uh, some of the entries and some of the exits. See smoke. Is there a wreck up ahead? I don't see anything. Oh, uh, there's more smoke. Someone's backing up. Oh my god. I thought someone was backing up onto the track. That's scary. Moment, moment number one. Shane, big loose, big loose, big loose. That's scary. He's got it together though. I do. Watch out for any more moments since we're right there behind him. That lap time was 19.1. Oh, oh my. Outside. Good save. Oh my goodness. Clear outside. Deep your backing force that position. Was that was a moment there. <laughs> Mitch up ahead got oh, loose, and then Shane got even more loose. The captain, Roberts, in front is now 0.7. Tracy's behind us now. He's been kind of farther back in the field than I would have expected most of this time. We're doing a four-tire slide now. Grip is... Not much there anymore. Mitch up there having some issues. Cast off down low. Stop down low. Allen. It's down at the bottom. Inside. Clear inside. Sorry, then I got a little loose and came off the wall a bit. No, I was about to apologize. I felt like I came off the video. Getting harder to handle out here. Tracy right on our bumper, keeping us honest. He's almost certainly faster at this point. Get loose, that'll be his chance. Still inside. Your last lap time was at 19.2. Okay, Colton. Lap time's pretty consistent. I can fight side by side with him. That's just gonna bring us back to Zach back there. Or sorry, Shane's back there. P5. He's faster anyway, so that was gonna be a losing battle for us, regardless. I swear if I enter half a lane higher in three, I'll get loose. That lap was at 19.3. Just doing my best to hold it together right now.
more I slide around, the worse it's going to be for me. Got to keep that in mind so I don't push too hard and end up in a bad spot with handling. We'll be pitting if we get a caution at this point. Whether it's 125 for the scheduled caution or something else before then because we are past lap 100. Fairly big loose. These tires are molten hot, I'm sure. Mitch getting some serious sliding going on up there. Mitch looks like he's dirt tracking it. Easy into turn one that time. The lap time was at nineteen point five. It's going to have to be patient, wait for a potential mistake. Oh, there's someone sliding on the apron down there. Is that going to be a caution? It is. Uh, not what you want to see. Ready to set up a pass. Someone spun on the apron. Almost died. No yellow at 125 now. Reminder, no yellow at 125 now. Deep road open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. We're going to take four. I think we can get our pit stop done in time since we're all the way caught up. The leader, McLennan, is pitting. Watch your speed. The pit lane speed limit is 35 Keep miles per hour. In. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Weird pit road. 81-82. We'll report that. Be able to get out in plenty of time, I think. All clear, punch it. Be mindful, you only have one set of tires remaining. Line up, single file. 86, 83. Pass that, 67, car. 88, 89, These tires are better than ours, it sounds like. Full course yellow, pits are open. We're gonna save some fuel. So I don't think we can make it to the end. I'm showing short on fuel to the end. Yeah, hey, me too. I thought this was a few laps early. I'm one lap to the good. Huh. I guess it depends on how hard you're using that throttle pedal.
Did Nick just not take tires? I'm doing 10 laps short. What happened there? Yeah, yeah, me too. Ethan's up there now too. Pits are open. We're about to get 141 or 139 to go. I'm out. I have enough for uh, 140. Right, We're on the, on the inside for some reason. So once we get moving, I probably will be short. Yeah, I'm like over 10 laps short, so that's not great. No guaranteed okay, caution so anymore either, which is interesting. The pace car is in. We'll get another caution though, I can almost guarantee you. What is the outside lane doing? I get a penalty. Keep low. Clear high. Is Nick on old tires? The next car's the leader. Make it the case. Car inside. You're back in fourth position. Three. Still there, hold your line. Keep high. Clear. Be a little nicer to the tires. We have to save some fuel potentially anyway. Let's see uh, what we can do with that. They're fighting real hard up there, though. Sure looks like it. Yeah, I'm trying to pay off of you. Meet you into the wall a bit. I was way too late for It's that track road. position. Nah, you all good. Alan coming off pit road. Tracy behind us. I'll let him by if I need to. I'm not going 100 right now. And another yellow. Ooh, just when I need it. I think we can make it to the end. We're going to get more caution, so I'm not coming in here. Giving up this track position. My bad. Another yellow flag. We'll get caught up in case anybody does want to come into the pits. Okay, indicating he's not coming down. Assume. We should be fine, I think. We'll save though, just to be sure. So I'm thinking Nick must have saved a set of tires. I'm happy with taking mine right now. I'm cool with that decision. Hundred and thirty to go, we got about two laps short. Four course yellow, pits are open. Shortest way around. Chris unfortunately has left. Might be too much damage to go. Right Keep going rather. We're under caution. Pits closed. I 
Someone stopping on the backstretch. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Not sure what that was. Almost had ourselves a delayed green out. Yeah, passing 51. Pass that 27 cut. All right, starting P3 should be better on the fresh tires down low. You'll be lining up on the inside. I don't know what was happening with Zach. He gets an EOL though. Get it settled in. Coming up on halfway here. Coming up on halfway here. You've just done a 18.6. Try to remember to be a little nice to the tires. Check the brakes. <laughs> Good save, Larry. Clear. Woo! Thank you. Got loose in front of us. Had to uh, stab the brakes a little bit. Make sure I could get around him. You're back in fourth position. Put us into fourth. Abe up there in the lead. We are P4 watching Mitch and Tracy in front of us as well. It'll be interesting to see about this fuel. Don't know if we can make it or not. I'll have to check in a little bit. See how that's looking. Wow. Alright, easy on the throttle there. Got a little too sideways. Mitch may be going for a pass. Not so much. Just taking a look. That seemed to get you some rotation, but it really, uh... Sometimes tries to give you too much, I think. Pass for the lead going on, they're side by side. So hard to pass here though. Looks like. The gap behind is now 0.8. Your lap time was 18.8. 
Got a big gap behind us. Maybe that means we take it easy, let these guys fight it out, and maybe we will have an advantage later. I still don't think we're good on fuel, though. Hundred and three, two hundred, yeah, we're short still. Mitch into the wall. You're reeling and in the gap is not much seven. Best thing we can do here is just be smooth as possible. Don't yeah, push it. Oh, they want you in That'll be a yellow. And a smoking vehicle, for, uh, potentially. We're under caution. It's closed. We're not going to come in because we can save some during this caution. Now open. Open. It'll be interesting to see if guys top it off. It would just be so costly to come in and top off on fuel right now if we're going to eventually get enough cautions to make it anyway, so... Just got to save as much as we can here. We're pretty close. It's like about... Hmm... Six laps short or so, six, seven. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Now this is better or not. I'm turning the wheel more in order to be down here, but it is shorter way around, so I don't know which is better. But cooler down there too for the tires, so Pit road is closed. that's another thing I'm kind of considering as I pace, car is out. pace down closed. here. Side lane this time. One left to green. See Go if we're slow out here. All right, Colton, get ready. I uh, one thing I need to do start. is uh, get out of auto clutch. That's slowing me down a little bit. I need to uh, get into the habit of doing my own blip with a throttle, so I can turn that off. Help me on Go my restarts. Green. Car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. Keep 
Would like this position. Track position's hard to come by. He's not giving it up though. Or should he? We tried, we tried. You've just done a 18.8. Settle in now, single file. Long way to go still. Not quite as long as we had earlier, but still. What's it like, 101 laps as we get to the line here? So, plenty more racing to be had. E4. Just wanted to give that a try since, uh, Clearly, track position is quite important. Casey's better, though, on these short tracks. Even if I had what's probably the preferred lane. So we'll go back to our plan of just being nice to the tires. Maybe even save some fuel, see how necessary that is later. Probably pretty necessary. We're still short. We need 99, we've got 96. Good thing, Dean. Thank you. See some smoke. I heard something about a save. I was dumb. I was using that. Not sure if those ball. things are related. And when I let go of it, it spun me out. Watching too many of Nick's videos. Apparently. Basically going around Mitch, maybe. Nah, just looking, I guess. Well, that was at 19.0. Taking it easy, trying to save some fuel. That was at 19.0. Slide for Tracy, it looked like. A little hard to tell from the angle of that, but it looked like he was a little too sideways. He's probably fine, though. You've just that was a lot of y'all there, Zach. Yeah, that might be just what I'm seeing, is just some y'all. This guy's can do that quite well. Oh, my internet's getting ugly again. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. Abnormal lap discontinuity. I was looking at that, so I blew the corner. Roberts is getting closer. The Stay focused. Nothing I can do about that right now. Probably go away on its own, I hope. Basically going to look to the inside. Huh? That's going to be a hard pass to make, though. I think any pass is a hard pass to make. With both the bottom lane and the middle lane being pretty competent, it's hard to get an advantage. And I'm sliding a little bit easy. Three point seven behind. That lap was at nineteen point one. We're keeping up for the most part. I think we're actually looking decent on fuel as well, which is good. Let's see, ninety laps to go. We got just under ninety, so I think we're going to be okay. Side by side, to bring these guys back to us a little bit.
Obviously not able to get it done. Really trying to get the runs off the corner, it looks like. Trying to get as much as he can. Hey, yellow. Definitely not pitting. I, we can make it to the end, for sure. The first 100 laps of this race, I did great. And now I can't keep the, keep the truck underneath. I do think the handling's changed a little bit over the course of the race. Perhaps the sun's going down. We not we might not be racing for lap two fifth. We might be racing to twenty seven and a half minutes, depending on how long this takes. It's are open. I am not sure we're going to be able to finish eighty laps. Watch your speed. Billy's coming in. I'm not giving up the track position. No way, no how. We can make it to the end. I'm staying up here. Car, 60 seconds. Got your lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. With these caution laps, I think I can probably make it now. Yeah, I've been cutting the ignition during this caution lap. 67. I think I've saved enough now. Yeah, we should be good. About a half a lap is good. I'm showing two laps pretty good now. I'm about three laps to the good, so we are okay. Dante asking about tires. Hard to say without coming in. I'm feeling all right though. Don't tell me. Tires smell good, so I tried to make a pass on the inside line and I cooked them. So I was trying to cool them back down. Pete Road is closed. Might be to my benefit that I was kind of trying to be smoother there and. Man, it seems like when you get these. Not overdrive. Warmed up and a slide, you're dead for two or three laps. Welcome to the trucks. <laughs> yeah. The worst combo you can get is sliding out of turn two and then entering turn three. When you get the tires hot entering well, turn three. On even tires, it's really hard to make the pass on the inside. I think it's hard to make a pass anywhere. Even if you get on the outside, I couldn't do it against Tracy. But that's me too. I'll see what we can do. I don't hear anybody complaining that the truck doesn't rotate, though. Oh, no, I'm enjoying it. Oh, Get ready, going green. Post car is off, time to do your job. Mitch gets his little sideways on that restart. Really would like to get to the outside of Trace, see if I can. Got sideways a little bit though, though. That's not gonna happen, so. <laughs> oh well, I tried. I started getting a little loose heading through turn three. That's where you do not want to be loose, so. Lost a little bit of it there, that's okay though. Daniel, get a little on old tires, man. 
Danke. Bruce out of four. Time was nineteen point zero. A little bit, a little bit too low there. Chase to the inside of Mitch. Is that where you even want to be, though? I don't know. You've just done a nineteen point zero. Sideways. Car did not like being down low there. Passing is just such a task. I think it's gonna be really hard to get around anybody. That lap time was 19.2. I can't stop getting loose out of two. Is that Billy? Not, on fresh that. tires? Okay. I guess he made the right decision. Yeah, I have no clue. Tires mattering a whole lot more than I expected, and a question. Yeah, I thought for sure I was going to be clear on getting the bag going to that turn. Checking out. Billy, did you just take right? The leader, McLennan, is pitting. Look out for the pit speed limit. Okay, Colton. We'll pull you to the end. I liked what I saw from Billy there. A lot of people decided to do the same thing. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. 88, 88. Taking four. Out of time. They want you in single file. 20 minutes, Nick reminds. I think a lot of people also came down. So I think that's a pretty good decision to come in there. I don't know how I didn't get me for speed and I hit 39. I slammed no brakes. You stayed out. Who else stayed out? Handful of people. A lot of people, but Billy was absolutely flying. Ninety-two, ninety. Four course yellow. Pits are open. I'm thinking the seven in front of us probably took two tires. Seven straight out. We all took tires on that last caution, I believe. Hmm. There's gonna be chaos, I bet. See how this turns out? We'll have the fresh tires. One left to green. 
Either well, inside, I think, uh, having tire advantage inside is good. I do not like being the last guy with the older tire. Go green, stay focused. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Oh my gosh, they're sliding up early up ahead. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. The next car is on Oh my god, guys. That was scary. Colton about got you. I thought we were going to gas through it and then you hit the brakes. <laughs> Pit road's open. Well, his neck about me. Okay, if it's saying you got to come around me. Yeah, that was... They're all getting sorted out here. They're all trying to figure it out. Yeah, that was a close one. We, uh, we made it, though. Where are we now? We are P9. Minutes left. Car 67, got the lucky the dog. Not sure who all was caught up in that. Some people that were ahead of us, though. Left us 67, carbide. You had the position when the yellow. I'm getting a wave around. Alan, they're going to name the Lucky Dog after you after this race. <laughs> well, I was any but anything but lucky to get all these Lucky Dogs. Sure <laughs> that. We are getting close to about 15 and a half minutes left. Not sure if we're going to get a race ended on laps or time. So the sun's going down. I think if we go green to the end, we can make yeah, it, for sure. Damn, did I come up in the... Up in the, uh... Nick? Four course yellow. Pits are open. Who are you talking to? You. Closed. Pit road is closed. Oh, I don't know what happened. It was all chaos up here. I was just trying not to get stuck three wide. We'll be behind Cave. Yeah, see if he can open there. some doors for yeah, us. I went up just a little bit trying to get around them. I got hooked. So that was my fault. But I started with Billy driving it in there. One left to green. You'll be lining up Race on the inside. Alright, we've got 60 laps to go, or about 14 minutes when we go green. Coming down to the wire at a short track. It always gets messy. Get ready, going green. Hey, Billy leading us off, I believe, up there? Or is that Mitch? That's Mitch. Mitch with Billy follow. Very early start. Probably gonna get a penalty. Okay, going three wide. Contact. Clear outside. Car outside. Your last lap time was at still there. Hold your line. Keep low. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Car outside. Two wide. Watch and out. another Keep caution. Line up single Line up. file. Single file. Keep road. Keep close right now. We're under caution. Pits are closed. 
Better hit snipe our kid. We'll move forward just a little bit more, but we're running out of time. Oh. I was like, please don't let any of us wreck or us wreck <laughs> Nick. I wasn't sure if Nick knew we were three or not, but I started to squeeze you a little bit there. You did. No, I, I know why. I was like, I a little scary to hear three white on a short track. Doesn't matter yeah, which you one. Do, but that's always the sketchy thing about it. But we're all good. Whatever happened though, happened behind us. A lot of familiar names in front. Right now. Billy, the only guy on all the tires still in front of us. He's been hanging in there very well. Going into the corner. Yeah, that's my bad, Daniel. How oh, good, like I just said. Coming down to the wire, short track is getting crazy. A little bit too many cautions here. Everybody showing 12 minutes left. Yeah, sure. We might be the one, two, twenty. Dante says, I may have forced it three wide. I saw Cabe do it too, but he's got the fresh tires, and we've got not very much time to go, so you can kind of understand. Not ideal, but. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. It's, open. it's not like it's lap one anymore, I suppose. We're gonna be the inside. I like that. Though I don't know if I have the skill to get around guys like Cabe. Closed. Anyway, we're sure gonna try. He's gonna be behind we're Billy as well it's on closed. his older tires. This could be our one chance to get around him. We're gonna have to have ourselves a good restart. All right, it's gonna be one to green here. Inside P5, Nick gonna be behind us. He's still got those older tires though. Out of tires, not that we'd come take any anyway at this point in the race. We waited to take them just a little longer and I think it's paid off. To the correct the gear. Green, stay this restart's going to be important. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, 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 green. green. You're back in pit. P5. Outside. Still there. Clear outside. Aggressive move there, but he's doing what he's got to do, so I understand it. Well, big pattern. The guy behind has just done a little bit sideways. That last lap was at 18.5. The guy behind has just done a 18.5. That for him. Billy tags Tracy. Inside. Clear. What was that, Billy? Outside. Car ahead. Back in fourth position. P3. Stay low. Time the wins. car on the high side. Out. Outside. Clear. Shit. Clear high. Take it around. They're battling for the lead up there. I saw a little contact. Make sure we're clear of them. Alright, we're P3. Let's 
Gracie gets knocked out of the way. No idea where he is now, but it is not behind us. And a restart. Eight minutes to go. This is crazy. Oh my motor, that would be bad. Oh my goodness, I'm not even gonna sorry, Billy. Pete Road is now open. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. Yeah, Billy is suspiciously silent after dumping Tracy. Maybe he doesn't use Mike. Did he really? What? <laughs> well, that's confusing. Well, I gambled and it did not pay off. Uh, seven minutes left. That's a bold move. Gonna go just after barrels. Well, this is the last time I get the lucky dog unless I screw up again, boys. Are you back on the lead lap? I'm back on the lead lap from so letting us know when he's going. I don't know why, <laughs> but uh, he is. Hell of a job, Alex. That's why so quick. <laughs> Out back of the lead lap. Never back down, never what? And that means you made up the most positions on track. I haven't made up any positions. Tennessee's done the most passing. He has passed everybody six or seven times now in the yellow. The cape says he's yeah, going to go just true. after the barrels. But they me while I was Where the heck are the barrels? The I have a single monitor here. Okay, right about. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be on the top of Mike Ford's there. quality okay. passes list. Yeah, he definitely got. We him. got six minutes. Closed. Pit road is closed. We're under caution. Pits are closed. I missed when I went in to serve those penalties. I forgot to uncheck my tires, so I've got old, old tires. Definitely well, not for skier. Everybody's racing up here. You still have a pretty good chance. Uh, not enough time. Five minutes. Hey, reinforcing. That's good. I appreciate them. Again, I have the single monitors. It's a little, a little hard to tell, but. To go. Nick, uh, yeah, Adam, I don't know why he's telling his competitor that, unless he's going to pull a fast one on me and <laughs> go a different time. Maybe he's like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to win anyway. Get ready. Going green. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. Green flag. Clears down. us. Not so smooth, you're running second. The next car's the lead up. Four and a half minutes. <sighs> We're not going to get a chance. Pace car is out. It's closed. Pace car is out. Up single file. Oh, don't worry about it, Nick. It's all good, man. We had a great jump. I mean, obviously, because we know exactly when he's going. But... <laughs> yeah, Nick will not be happy with this race. And again, it was kind of like this last year. The first like 150 was good, and I think once everybody sort of realized it was time, it ramped up, changed the strategy, half the field pitted, half did it, and it kind of made everybody do it. Yeah, that's the truth. We had some good runs early on, even if there were some cautions peppered in there, but. Three minutes, 30 seconds. Should be uh, a, a longer time limit, but I think it's not. 
Shouldn't have hit those many yellows. I'm not gonna blame the timer on this one. Yeah, it was definitely plenty of time to get it done. How much did you think we've had? Like about 15? Probably gonna be the last restart. It's our open. I don't know if I really want to say that though, because clearly we're already uh, frantic enough. I know I have I have had three. I was hoping to get some really good green flag racing. I really feel good in this combo. I enjoy this track. Alright, we got one shot of six. I just don't see how we yeah, I believe. get around K here. We're gonna give it our best, but I racing is that guy from uh, Better Call Saul that's one scared of lights. Line up on the All right, Colton, get ready. Race a regime at the end of this lap. It actually has light, right? Or am I thinking of something else? No, it really has light. Just a lot of times I race, you know, push a track out to get it out on time without any night lighting. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Uh, not as good of a jump that time. Shane's going to get to our... That was scary. Thank you for giving me room there, Dan. Right, stacked it. Ooh. Good win, Cabe. Good race, guys. When we had the green laps, it was pretty fun. Last lap. Seems like, like it's can't pass, kind of annoying, but... And we've got side-by-side, side. just the guy punches on the outside, impossible. It felt like when we got some of the really old tires, we started seeing guys getting loose and stuff, and maybe if we had gone a little longer green, maybe we'd have some easier passes, but we never really got there. That's what's going to be interesting, because like, we... We're getting cars that are not technically suitable. Let that twenty one carbide. You had the All right. That will do it. Good drive. This one. Kid drives off into the sunset, or drifts off into the sunset, rather. You did really well. And uh, gets the win at his home track. We get P two though. That's pretty darn awesome. On a short track. I will definitely take that. That was uh, a lot of fun when we had the green laps, like I said. And uh, we get a good finish out of it. So. That will do it for this one. We start P3, get P2. There's your finishing order. Nick gets a top five. Right, and was... These things race a lot better than I thought they would, so they race better than the Super late stuff. So. Tracy in the top five after getting dumped a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've been doing a lot better with these trucks. Than Mitch the down in ninth. He worked his way a little bit, but I don't know about that decision to pit so late. I wonder if he forgot or didn't realize that uh, there was a time limit. Because I could see that move if there wasn't a time limit, maybe. If he just wanted anything possible, but... Don't know. And uh, rounding out your top ten is Zach. 
David with a great finish. Eighth. I don't recognize him. Sorry if he has been here before, but he has a great run. And that was your entire field. What do we do about cautions? There's a little bit, there's a few too many to look at, I think. So, I think I'm just going to forego it. I'm sure uh, somebody's going to do them, whether it's Nick or Gavin. And uh, you saw the stuff that was around us, at least. So I think we're just going to go ahead and go straight to the race results page so we can see the more detailed information. And then we'll go ahead and look at the lead standings as well. After race number two of six, I believe it will be I'm this season. I'm saving on 201 with me literally buying the car with like five minutes left to park. Here we are. I had the fastest lap. Heck yeah. I don't think that means anything in this series, but I'll take it. We actually don't lead any laps either. I think that does mean something. I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure it does mean something, so that kind of stinks. We got real close, though, because we finished P2 and get 26 points. We did get some bonus, so maybe the fastest lap does give us something. Hard to remember. I don't remember what uh, exactly we had going on for points. We just got so many series going on. I know uh, laps led matter a lot, though. You get uh, a good chunk of points for it, so um, too bad we missed out on that. But we still get a good bit of points, and uh, those points should do us well in the league standings, which I'm bringing up right this moment. So, navigating to the K5 Championship Season 5B, because <laughs> we don't talk about 5A. That didn't actually happen. That was a figment of our imaginations. And there it is. So, whoop, I opened the wrong screen, sorry. There we go, Cabe up front at the moment. We find ourselves in a tie with Nick for P3. We got uh, just a smidge more bonus points and uh, have qualified better. You get points for qualifying well. So um, that was actually broken last week, so the points changed a little bit um, after that got fixed. I don't know if they're fixed now, so this might change slightly, but I don't think it does because... Uh, we're tied with Nick, even though we have a worse average finish and only one more extra bonus point. So I think that's probably accounting for qualifying stuff. But there you got Cabe Mitch in the first two spots. And we got Chris just behind us. He didn't have such a, a good experience today. He had to leave early. But he's still pretty high up there after... I assume he must have had a great first run in the super late models, so that will do it for this one. I look at look at that. David must have been here in the first one as well. Because he's a P6 doing a great job. So alright, that will do it for this one. Thank you for watching. That was uh, some good fun when we had the green lamps, though probably a few too many cautions again, but can't be too surprised by that. Short track racing. And uh gets a little tough out there, so. Appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one, and I hope you have a good one. See ya.